had me some breaks by the morning. I had a six by the morning. I got on a meat on the morning. The rats keep me up on the podium. I had a in my shoulder. You got a vision. Jumping in the bed with two I shot it pulling up with a real bad, bad, you too. Dripping my swag, do pop tag on the moon. I got it in the bag, man. I'm getting all type of cash on my general crew. inside a place that the folks around here like to call the vault and that's bank of america stadium in uptown charlotte nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an nfl game and that was in evidence a moment ago fireworks pyrotechnics you name it this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the atlanta falcons and the carolina panthers this is taken at the three and his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Edo Smith, his first carry, gets around him. Edo Smith, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. The very first play from scrimmage. How about that? Talk about setting a tone. And people always talk about doing exactly that in the first five minutes of the game, the first offensive and defensive series. Who's going to gain an advantage? Well, we saw exactly what happened there. A tone was definitely set by the offensive team. Goskowski now out to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out of the gun, Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. To throw on second down is Newton. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Grady Jarrett able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of a yard. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. Right. Right. 
Throwing on third down, Newton. And he's going to go down again. Grady Jarrett in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Second and ten now. Ryan. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. But the Falcons were able to recover, so they will keep possession. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Hey, express, express, express. Hey, my From the shotgun, Ryan. He's going to sling this deep downfield into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38, and they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 38. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. that he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Here we go. Sit. Ready? On second down, here's Newton. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. To throw on third down. Newton. And this guy's target. That's more. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, 22. Come on now. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go play action here on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. You got to give some credit. They're able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give him some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. Back to the air, Newton on second down. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there of 20 yards. The first red zone opportunity for the Panthers thus far. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Here's Newton now on second down. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. From the gun, here's Newton. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks him. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Ryan. And open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. 21. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. They go play action now. Ryan, throw right side, caught by Ridley. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Now Ryan on first down. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A really good pickup of 28 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Let's go. So first and 10 now from the 30. Hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Run, run. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. On second down, here's Smith. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Pretty good running there. Nine yards. Sets up a third and one. This drive is turning to an extended one. And, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Boston Scott, his first carry. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. 
He needed a yard. That's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. A first chance in the red zone for the Falcons now. First and 10 right at the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one. And the flag came out. Penalty against him. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Ryan. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. No bottled up fumble. It's out. It's loose. And the Panthers have recovered. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it, I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Fumble recovery. It's Ryan. And this is caught at the eight. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones. His 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons will extend their lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Goskowski now out to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Tech McKinley. He's the one to get him. And that's sack number seven for him on the year. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. A shotgun snap for Newton. That's Samuel, caught left side. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Panthers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, Newton, hard throw, incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Now it's Peterson. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And the Falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 
A very solid gain of 27. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. A first down carry for Smith. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Now Ryan on second down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. That is complete. Hooper. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Over 70 yards receiving now for him in this first half alone as he's got a first down on that last catch. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Gun, gun, gun! Play action. It's Ryan. For the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Hey, and on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Ryan. And it's caught over the middle, Hooper. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 27. Now Newton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. On second and ten, Newton. And Olsen over the middle. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this.
The Panthers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. to make the play and get his guys the football back. After the interception, here's Ryan. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Here's a give to Smith. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Try and run for it with Smith. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Single, single. Sit. Back 80. Right Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll lift to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They're going to look to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. and 10. It's Ryan dancing to his left. Now he'll go deep down the middle. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. Wait a second. They did not accept that after the incompletion. Wow. I'm, I'm, your, your look is just as puzzled as mine. <laughs> I got nothing for you here. You have to take that penalty, don't you? It's free yards. Now let's go. Three, nine, two. Back to throw now on first down. He's going to float this one deep right side. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. It's Desmond Trufant. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Thank you. 
And the clock showing just 16 seconds till the half as they line up first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Edo Smith. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Dontari Poe in on the stop. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because... We often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime rock rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. He was looking for Jarius right that time. And that takes us from second to third down. Well, his struggles continue. Open targets, and he keeps missing them. Pressing way too much. He may have a big arm, but until he learns how to harness it and have some touch, he's going to continue to struggle. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Looking to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 40. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season. Because well, here we are in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. <laughs> And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. They'll run it again with Smith. Finding room to the 20. And finally wrestled down at the 8-yard line. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Here's Ryan to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. The Falcons on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and goal. Try to punch it in with Smith. And he will take it in for a foul. And touchdown. Edo Smith with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Gaskowski now out to kick it away.
And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. the gun they'll look to throw that's going to be caught by Samuel and he'll get it up to the 33 yard line that throw good for only a couple it brings up third down one thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch but in this situation the defense was effective able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down They'll set up a throw. Got a man, it's right. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Now back to throw. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The Panthers on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This will be third and 15. Back to throw. He's going to fire one deep over. That's caught at the 25. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Jarius Wright, his first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Extra point try good by Gano, and that'll make it 24 to 7. Gano out to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. Twisting away. Atlanta now coming out on the field. This is sort of what you would call the put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. The pitch goes to Smith. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
That burst good for 20 and a first down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first down, Ryan. That is caught inside the five. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones with touchdown number 15 on the year and second of the game. And the Falcons will extend their lead. And it's up and good. Goskowski now out to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They'll come out throwing here on first down. For a left side complete. It's right. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Now let's go! They go play action here on first down. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Cut! 3-19! 3-19! And we're back now in Charlotte. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. First down, he'll drop to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. But he lost six there on the first down play. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This will be third and five. He'll look to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's on quite the interception run. He had two last week, another one here. Remember, he's not a DB, he's a linebacker. But how many of those linebackers started as DBs and pumped themselves up into being linebackers? So the ball skills are the same, right? The coverage skills and responsibilities are the same, and he has paying it off in a big, big way. They begin with a run by Smith. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. 
A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw so through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They go back to the ground with Smith. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. On third down, Smith. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first, thanks to a flashy little spin move. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. it outside but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage no gain on the play there second down but it was stopped on that play we said plenty of carries all afternoon every now and then the defense is going to win one but i don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game Second down, Scott, and an alley to run. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. A big-time play there for the Falcons. 41 yards. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. A handoff to Smith. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Touchdown, Atlanta. Boston Scott, his second touchdown on the season. And the Falcons continue to pour it on. Extra point, hug the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And the lead will swell by one more. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is taken at his four. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards. to the 27 yard line and the Panthers coming out now and there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate and of course they'd like to forget the inning the interception but they did put together Charles a nice sustained drive to get him down the field yeah and unfortunately for them the only thing that matters is part two right because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive that does them no good to go back and say well you know we had a good one going 
finish things off. That's the only way to get it done. And yeah, able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Try the ground game here with a running back. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Only a gain of a yard there, but it indeed gets him a new set of downs. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. here and he's going to be stopped up quickly here just a yard up to the 39 early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position we know the securing the point of attack especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D has got to be priority one this off to his running back McCaffrey and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40 yard line just a one yard pickup on the play and that's going to lead to a third down the Panthers on third down they've converted a third of their opportunities three for nine this is third and eight time for a break back to finish it off on EA Sports after this the Panthers on third down they've converted a third of their opportunities three for nine this is third and eight Back to throw here. And my goodness, another interception. It's Desmond Trufant. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. And maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a quarterback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation, looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is, when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets, but oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes. And they will take a knee here. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all clock just ran out I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was after the delay they're backed up even further for third and long and they'll indeed take a knee 